Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be making a, this shaker card using some digis from Polka Doodles. So this is a full front shaker card. I'm not sure if that's the actual name of this style of card, but I've been really enjoying making these. I think um, they just look really, really neat. And what I'll start off by showing is actually how I foiled the digi paper that I got from Polka Doodles. So here we are in Photoshop and I just brought the pattern paper in. It's six by six. I first select the background because it is just a solid color. When you select it, it will grab everything. And Photoshop has an um, option to actually invert your selection. So instead of selecting the background, it's going to select everything else that's not the background, which in this case is the polka dots. And that's exactly what I want because I want to color all of those polka dots in with this ginormous black paintbrush. And I want to make sure it's all jet black because that is actually what I want to foil. When I print this out on my laser printer, since laser printers use toner, which is essentially just a plastic that's melted onto your paper, I will be able to then put a piece of transfer foil over my cardstock and run it through my laminator. If you have a mink machine, it'll work all the same in that as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and change the background to white also so that even though my laser printer is just a black and white printer, if there is color on the image, it will try to create a grayscale version of that color, which is not what I want. All I want is toner where the polka dots are. Here's my finished panel, but let me show you um, the original. So I did print it on this teal colored cardstock. This is the um, just the half that's remaining. And you can see after running it through my laminator with a piece of transfer foil over it, I have this really nice panel on the left where the polka dots have gold foiling. On the right, what you see is the leftover piece of foil that I had after I foiled my original panel on the left. I then put that remaining piece of foil on top of what um, this product is, is called the toner sheets from Decafoil. So essentially it's just pure toner edge to edge um, in these nice sheets that you can cut down. And that way the leftover foil after I foiled my panel doesn't go to waste. I can then foil that onto a toner sheet using my laminator again, and I get the reverse. So I have the gold in the back, and then the only thing that's showing are the black polka dots that were already transferred onto my original panel. And then um, with the other panel that I cut from uh, this first half that I cut off, I just did the exact same thing, but in silver. And you can see um, I got a really nice, here's that leftover sheet. I'm gonna peel it off so that you can see it here. This transferred really, really well. I find that as I use my laminator more and it heats up more and more, um, it gets better um, with subsequent foilings. So definitely let your laminator heat up a good 20 minutes, I would say, um, so that your first lamination um, turns out just as well as your you know, fifth or your 10th. So, that's how I actually created this background. And you can do that with any digi um, paper that you have. Just um, this one worked out really well because it was a simple image. I could easily grab those polka dots and um, turn them all into black. And even though I'm not an expert in Photoshop, I was able to manage to do it without too much trouble. My acetate piece here, um, we'll cover my full card front and I am making a USA two size card. So my card front is four and a quarter by five and a half. My acetate, I cut to one inch wider and taller. So five and one quarter by six and a half. And then I just scored a glue tab half an inch on all four sides. And I like 
for this to be really, really well sealed. So I put some quarter inch double sided adhesive tape on the edge of my acetate on all four sides and on the edge of my panel on all four sides. And that gets me a seal that is essentially going to cover that entire half inch glue tab. Now, I found that once I put in some of the sequins that it was sticking a little bit just because of the static. So I um, brushed on a little bit of baby powder or you can use whatever anti-static powder you prefer. It could be cornstarch, it could be um, um, whatever you've got. And I'm using a combination of um, gold and teal. I really, really love this color combination. And I was inspired by this um, Winnie polka doodle digi stamp that was actually a little bit of a happy accident. I thought that I was buying the black and white version that you color in yourself, but I guess I dropped into my cart the pre-colored version, which is also really nice to have because then if you don't have the time to color an image, it's really nice that you can get these pre-colored versions. And because I uh, mistakenly got it, I went with it and I was inspired by the colors in the um, image that's already pre-colored, which she's wearing, you know, that really nice teal dress and she's holding a nice um, champagne bottle and some glasses and the champagne sort of looks gold-ish. So I went with that as the inspiration for my entire card and I really want this to be very blingy. So I foiled my Happy New Year sentiment in some teal. Uh, just to bring more of that teal to the forefront. And then um, the shaker fill, as I mentioned, has the sequins um, in teal and gold. And it's really nice to see the sequins against the polka dot background. It almost makes it, it just looks like an optical illusion, sort of, because you see the, the shape of the sequins bouncing around, but there's already the polka dots, which are roughly the same size as my sequins. So it's, um, it's a really neat effect. I really like how it turned out. So now that I've sealed up my shaker pouch and, um, this is relatively flat because the sequins are pretty flat. Um, so I still think this is going to mail just fine without extra postage. But, um, to be honest, I haven't tried mailing a full front shaker card, so I don't know that for certain, but if, um, but it's only a few cents more. It's like 10 or 50, 15 cents more to, to pay for the extra um, charge if you are mailing something that's extra thick. So it's it's not a huge um, amount of money to spend to make sure that, that your card doesn't come back to you <laughs> once you've put it in the mail. So the last thing to do is to just adhere um, Winnie and my sentiment to the front of my card. And so I'm just going to use some half inch glue dots that I have because this is going onto acetate. And I generally find that a uh, dry adhesive or glue dots like these work better for me than liquid adhesive um, because the plastic in the acetate is non-porous and liquid adhesive gets its strength from actually absorbing into your paper. So um, so I thought my glue dots would be a better option for, um, for this occasion. And I'll go ahead and just put dots all <laughs> around the edges. I really want to make sure that the edge of the die cut and of the sentiment doesn't lift up. So I'm being a bit more generous with the glue dots than probably I need to be in, in order to keep it secure. I just don't want any of the um, edges or the corners to, to lift or to bend at all. And so to help me position it, I'm going to just put this um, leftover sheet of um, liner that's from my double sided large roll of double sided adhesive sheet and that way my die cut doesn't accidentally stick as I as I anchor down a portion of it so that'll make it a lot easier to get everything in position 
And this is my final card for New Year's. Really, really love how this turned out. The sequins move really nicely. They do tend to get a little bit stuck along the edges of the um, shaker where it's a little bit more narrow since it's pinching down closer to the card. But I kind of like that because then it means the shake the sequins are a little bit more dispersed. So I hope that you enjoyed my card today, and if you did, please leave me a comment, like, and share this video. If you want to catch new videos as I publish them, consider hitting the subscribe button and ringing the notification bell. Thank you so much, and until my next video, happy crafting, and have a fantastic day. Bye!